I've dedicated the entire month of May in our church to to the topic of mental health. And um, I, I I said right off the bat this week that it's a human condition. You know, um, if someone's ever told you it's a sin problem or it's a faith problem, um, I'm sorry, that's just... I don't know if that's just stupid or people not wanting to deal with their own stuff. Maybe it's a combination. No, I mean, both. can I chime you know, in on that just real quick? I mean, have we officially started feel, this podcast? You feel free. Uh, a couple minutes ago when you said every Bible character oh, wants to die. That's a great yeah, start. That's pretty much where we, um, that's where you rolled. I think this is just my opinion. When we start talking about what you alluded to, people take the issue of mental health um, that is very much housed sometimes in the actual body of a person, the yeah. chemical makeup, the physical uh, reality that people deal with. And then they love to create that into another category or transfer that into the spirit. And in the same way, they take the soul, the mind, will, and emotions of a person, and they love to, to kind of, make it into a conversation that it's just based here in, in the spirit. And, you know, Thessalonians five um, talks about how we're actually made and we're a body, yeah. soul, and a spirit. And when we're right. talking about our mental health, we need to make sure where are we talking about this in the triptych nature of how God has constructed us. Right. Um and I think a lot of times we're just talking about it in the wrong context. And so therefore we go, oh, you're depressed. You just need to pray it, pray it away. Um, yeah. and, and we spiritualize something that is actually in our body that does have spiritual ramifications or the spirit can influence or the soul, you know, but at the same time, you're talking about a fallen tent that one day will be restored. And I just think sometimes we misapply the idea of mental health or of, you know, emotional health and we over spiritualize it and we under, you know, physicalize it or psychological, uh, you know, from our psyche, um, you know, psychological, say psychologicalize, which I thought I, that's a really good word. I was gonna, but I just didn't know if it was a word. <laughs> so it, it, it is, it is now, you know, Anyways, we blur the lines. We, we we blur the lines between the three, and um, instead of dealing with them um, triptych, as you say, instead of dealing with them individual, but they, I mean, they are in, interconnected. But when yeah. we talk about mental health, we spiritualize that real quick, but we don't spiritualize obesity, right? We don't take those physical ailments, or maybe you've got a disease or a diagnosis, and we don't all of a sudden spiritualize that. And that's because you've got something horrific in your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can be connected, but we're not so fast to blur the lines between physical and spiritual as we are between mental and spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I mean, those Which is three, why we don't unpack it and really talk about it. Well, because three, it's one of three, those painful issues. Yeah, three very specific words in Thessalonians, three very different Greek words, three very different parts of our body that all work together. Um, and our spirit is what's dead uh, and alive in Christ. And our spirit is what's dead to sin. But in our soul, it doesn't mean that sin is dead to you. In your body, it doesn't mean the residual effects of sin aren't still playing out. And I think sometimes when we look at the war that exists in not flesh and blood, but in principalities and darkness, we love to pick and choose which one that is and where that is. And when it comes to mental health, we underplay the mind, will, and emotions part of who we are. We definitely don't even address the dietary issues the actual chemical imbalances, the, you know, the genetic and physical makeup. We definitely don't even talk about that because that's based in, you know, physical human science, you know, the idea of exploration and understanding of the human body. So a lot of times pastors don't even look at that. And then we just look at the spirit. Well, your spirit is is alive in Christ. It's already been renewed. You're working from the victory, not for it. Your spirit's got to talk to your soul, and your soul's got to talk to your body. And you're a spirit, 
with a soul trapped in a body. And when we start talking about mental health, we're just like, oh, we can just pray this away or we can take a pill and just call it good. And a lot of times I think it's a combination of finding all three of those parts of us being renewed in Christ as a part of us for the whole of us, you know, mental health. Let's talk about that for a second. Do you exercise? Are you doing cardio? Do you get your heart rate up, um, you know, at least twice a day, you know, for an extended period of time? If the answer is no, then you are not caring for your body for the mental health that your soul needs. There's chemical reactions that are happening in your body that need to be uh, dealt with. Cortisol and oxytocin and, you know, your uh, all these hormones that come in and out that your body's making. And by the way, if you're overweight by 20 or 30 pounds, even 10 pounds, your fat is actually sending messages to your brain uh, okay, that are we unhealthy. This, we, were, we, we are making this podcast about me. You no, know, I, I just, overweight, 10, I wasn't, 20, 30 I, wasn't pounds. <laughs> I didn't say 40. Oh yeah. That, thanks. Thanks for not meddling in my, you're welcome. My mental, point is Tim is just my thought much. on this is just like the physical part of it. We never talk about that. Um, and no, yet it's don't. such an we, impactful we, part of the holistic piece of what is true mental health, your body, spirit, and your soul. And how does that all work? 